OK, so in this video, we're going to have a look at creating a new site based project to have a little explore of some of the new topography features in Revit 2024. So let's open up a new architectural template. OK, next massing and site tab. And I'm going to swap over to the site plan and zoom out. Now I'm going to look at the create a top of solid from sketch and it brings up these nice drawing commands. And then just resize those to the size of the site. And press the tick. There we go. Now I'm just going to put all of these out of the way. So they're on the sides of my site at the moment. OK, so what I want to do now, click on the site. You'll notice top of solid, 100 millimeter thick. <coughs> Very much like a floor construction there uh, with that thickness. So that's good. We'll just leave it be for now, though. And what we're going to do is have a little look at adding some elevation marker points. At the moment, everything is set to level zero, and the new points we're going to put in are also at level zero. So I'm just doing two strings of markers. Now, what I want to do here is press escape once, and then I'm going to go around on these inner ring of dots and just make sure there I change those. Okay, let's have a quick look at that in 3D and see what we've done. So we can see we've created an embankment area with a raised platform, as it were. All right. Um, now, I'm going to want that to actually be a retaining wall, so I'm going to need that to be a much tighter angle. So I'm just going to swap back. And this is quite handy here. You can click on there. You can modify these sub-elements, and you can grab and drag those lines and just put them tighter to each other as well. Or if it's the dot you want to actually grab, you are able to do that as well. And I'll demonstrate that in a second, but I can click onto one directly. There we go. That's it, see, and I can just drag that there. And then that just makes that much tighter. And grab that dot, bring it in. So that'll look a bit more appropriate for a retaining wall. And there we go. So that's that sort of embankment raised area. Let's now create a nice mound by here. So let's add a few more points. So again, we've got these ones at level zero. We'll do a bit of a circle. And then what we'll do is change it to 2250. And we'll put another little circle in there. Now, if we look at that in 3D, um, we can see it has gone a bit weird. So that didn't work out. Now, I'm going to show you a slightly different way now to make that work out a bit better. So let's just go undo a few times. All right, and let's go back to our site. So I'm going to leave it at zero this time and then put these in. Then what I'm going to do is press escape once, highlight all of them and then change them all to 250 at the same time. 
and notice now how it creates that nice flat top to it because when you're doing it one at a time it can create those funny little zigzags and shapes and if we look at that that's much more desirable with what we want okay one last little thing we want to do now is a trench along this bit just to show different types of modifying the shape okay so let's again add some points and we'll do these at zero and i'll just do a fairly straightforward like so and then i'll do a, a few inside that i might also just put an extra one by there and by there for now and then escape once and i'm just gonna try and highlight those four internal ones and put that at minus 500 nope didn't quite work let's try that again click on that minus five enter Okay, and we'll just go have a quick little look at our 3D view. And there we go, look. So we can see now we've got a recessed trench by there. Now, just to point out one or two quick little things that is a bit different to what you're used to. What you are able to do in this version here, for example, you can click on the lines themselves and actually give the lines an elevation. So that's quite handy if you wanted to change any of those individually. All right, that one there is sort of an aggregate of top and bottom, but you can see there the minus 500 and the zero on that one. Um, so for example, let's say we wanted this to be a bit more than minus 500 of that. We'll change it to minus 650 and now it slopes downwards. So if we now escape Oop. we can see we've got our trench like so so that gives us a bit of an overview of modifying the new um, topo solid basic geometries all right and 